Oh! 
Prior to the beginning of uh, formal ceremonies recognizing uh, Veterans Day, I'd like to uh, ask the fire department to uh, salute those uh, fallen firefighters who uh, uh, gave their lives in the Strand Fire of uh, 1941. Those with hats on again, please remove them. We'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I would like to introduce Fire Department Chaplain William McCoy. Let us pray. Merciful and almighty God, we gather on this occasion to give thanks for the men and women of our armed forces. We gather again to honor them, to give thanks for the sacrifices they have made, for the sacrifices they are making now, making sacrifices in our behalf and on behalf of freedom-loving people everywhere. We pray that you would defend them and their families with your heavenly grace, O Lord. Strengthen them in their trials and their temptations. Grant them courage in the perils they face and a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. We pray, O oh Lord, for our nation and all the nations of your world, praying again for peace, a dedication to seek peace and pursue and preserve that peace. Grant, we pray, that those in authority may have wisdom and patience to seek justice through your gifts of reason and diplomacy. Grant them the will that truly serves the best interests of your world, O oh Lord, in its need for the peaceable reign promised by prophets, who spoke your word and speak it still to us in our day. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would touch the minds and hearts of us all, that we may be free of hatred and misunderstanding. And in our capacities to serve each one of us, may we love and honor all things good, loving and honoring you, for you are the source of every goodness and all things honorable. 
We ask this, O Lord, in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. At this time, I would like to introduce the Honorable Mayor of the City of Brockton, Mayor Linda Balzotti. Good morning. As a first order of business, I need to introduce the elected officials who have joined us here today. Uh, with us this morning, uh, a member of the uh, legislative delegation who serves on the Committee of Veterans and Federal Affairs, State Representative Claire Cronin. Also with us, State Representative Michael Brady. And the senior member of the delegation and one of Brockton's greatest public servants, State Senator Thomas Kennedy. A man who has opted not to seek re-election this year and has served his city well for a long time, Councilor at Large Todd Petty. Yeah. Councilor at Large Jace Stewart. <laughs> Another longtime member of the City Council, one I've had also had the pleasure of working with for a long time, Councilor at Large Tom Brophy. From Ward 2, Councillor Tom Monahan. Yeah. From Ward 3, Councillor Dennis Aneri. Yeah. Another good friend, Councillor at Large Robert Sullivan. Yeah. Ward 6, City Councillor Michelle Dubois. Yeah. From Ward 4, Paul, Councillor Paul Stadensky. Another member of the council that I've been proud to serve with and I wish him well in the future, the councilor from Ward 7, Councilor Chris MacMillan. <laughs> Tim Cruz, the councilor from Ward 1 and council president. <laughs> Councilor-elect Shirley Azak. <laughs> oh, from Ward 7, I'm sorry. And um, Councilor-elect, Councilor-at-Large, Shana Bonds. From the School Committee from Ward 1, Tom Minicello. Ward 5, and Mayor Ward 5 School Committee member and Mayor-elect, Bill Carpenter. From the uh, Ward 7 School Committee, Tim Sullivan. Ward 6 School Committee member Michael Healy. <laughs> Registrar of Deeds, John Buckley. A former mayor and a member, uh, a mayor who also served us well um, in, uh, in service as well. Uh, we honor former mayor Richard Wainwright, who is here. From Southeastern Regional School Committee, Mark Lindy. And also we have the pleasure of having with us today um, State Representative Hank Norton, who's a major in the U.S. Army Reserves. So I'd like to take a moment to thank you all for joining us as we honor our veterans. And for those of you among us who have served in our armed forces, I would like to thank you on behalf of the City of Brockton for your service to our country. To those of you who have family or loved ones currently away serving our nation, please know that your prayers and your support helps carry these brave men and women through the very real dangers of their day-to-day -day job. And to those of you who have re recently returned from deployment, we are glad to have you home safe and sound and we welcome you home. Brockton is a city that celebrates its champions. Today and every day, our veterans, past and present, are Brockton's real champions. Throughout our nation's history, the challenges and dangers faced by our servicemen and women have undoubtedly changed, but the attributes of our veterans have remained constant. Honor, commitment, service, and patriotism. 
today and every day. Please let us thank and celebrate our veterans. And please remember to keep our current service men and women in your thoughts and prayers. And most importantly, always remember that we are the land of the free because we are the home of the brave. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Mayor. You can be seated if you like. Now, as you know, it's uh, the practice here to recognize uh, those families most affected by conflicts uh, around the world. Um, uh, today, uh, in memory of uh, our fallen uh, veterans, we didn't make it home. Uh, we will uh, place wreaths not only at the monuments that uh, are placed on the south side of this uh, amphitheater and City Hall Plaza, but also at the base of our flagpole. Joining us today is uh, a Gold Star mother who has uh, suffered the loss of a son in Vietnam, um, as well as uh, another son who also pr served proudly in the uh, U.S. military, United States Marine Corps. Uh, her husband was a veteran, uh, Elsie Carteret. Uh, her son, Michael, uh, gave his life uh, during the Vietnam War. So at this time, I would like uh, cadets from the JROTC to escort uh, Elsie for the laying of a wreath uh, to your left, my right, um, 